hello, 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 hello out there. How's everybody doing? Is everybody's favorite conservative in New York? Christopher Wright here to present you with another of my momentous walk and talk videos. First and foremost, I just want to send a quick shout out to RSBN, Right Side Broadcasting Network, for reaching out to me to participate and co-host the MAGA march to happen in New York and Times Square on Fifth Avenue. We got a lot of attention out there. A lot of patriots came out, showed support. Shout out to my boy, Magnificent reached out to me to do the coasting. It went great, you know, really start that MAGA message, got it out there, let New York be the first to come out of the world, know what's going on. But on to the topic hand, I wanna talk about the recent interview, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, and I'm sorry about earlier, my phone's breaking up as that bad reception, but I wanna talk about the interview that happened recently with Oprah, Meghan Markle, and Prince Harry. Uh, I'm not, this is not the main thing I always talk about, but I got a lot of fans from the United Kingdom, so I wanna kinda of do a video, give my point of view on the matter. And my whole situation is this, Oprah, she is, She's a backstabber. She, you know, she is totally a traitor uh, to the black community, to America. You know, she, when she just first came out, my mom was a big fan of her work. And as time went by, she just said she's a sellout. And I didn't understand when I was younger what she meant, but now that I'm older and I'm seeing how she carries herself, especially when it comes to turn her back on this country, it, my mom is 100% right. She is a true sellout. And she just proved it, further proved that. And she got Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on, Meghan Markle on here, I'm sorry. And they were just pretty much, you know, virtue signaling, virtue signaling, pandering, playing the race card, all that good stuff that leftists do. And these people are multimillionaires. They're both coming from family here. She's a former Hollywood actress. Prince Harry, you know, of course, the prince. So, you know, they come from family and money. Uh, his mom, you know, Princess Diana, very popular, famous woman. Anybody from the 80s, babies on, know what happened with the Princess Diana and the situation happened with her. So this whole situation with Meghan Markle and trying to feel sorry for her because she feels like, oh my gosh, all this pressure, I'm oppressed. Woman, you're, you're a multimillionaire. You're not oppressed, you knew what you're getting yourself into when you're getting married into a royal family. You know how they are, you know it's tradition, you know it's bloodlines that go all generations back. So if you're gonna break that system, it's gonna be issues. And she's coming out saying, oh, there are people in the family that were threatening her, saying her baby's gonna be a gorilla baby, all this crazy stuff like that. Of course, that's foolish, I don't condone that. But what do you expect from the press? I Remember, this is the same media that chased Princess Diana down until she got killed. You know, and she chased her down that tunnel in England and they scared her half to death. And, you know, she ended up, you know, dying in the tunnel. Nobody knows the specifics of what happened that night. But it's true, that's happened. And this is the family she's getting herself into. And she expects us to feel sorrow for her and feel sorry for her. That's not going to happen. And she, to me, only reason she got with Prince Harry in the first place, because she saw opportunity. She's an opportunist. And with him, you know, he's always, to me, been like the out cast of the family, the oddball of the family. I remember growing up, I'm, he's a little younger than me, about a few months younger than me. He was always like, as a kid, they were like, oh, he's the ugly one. And, you know, Prince William was like the handsome brother and all stuff like that. The media portrayed it like that. That was stupid. But, you know, they did do that. And I remember he went, when he got older, he went to a party and he had a swastika um, and a Nazi uniform. He came into his friend's party and it made this huge controversy in Europe. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he's doing this, yada, yada, yada. But I just saw it back then. It was foolish, of course, but he was just trying to distance himself from the royal family back then. He was trying to distance himself from everything. So I'm not, nothing new there, nothing surprising there. So this is pretty much a continuation on. So he marries a woman who knows it's not gonna be accepted by the family. She doesn't mind because it's more clout chasing for her, more attention towards her. So of course she's gonna accept it. And now they're getting backlash from it. And I remember when they came to this country, um, and can you guys watch my video on YouTube? I'm gonna have a clip from Trump when he pretty much talked about it when she first came to the country. He was pretty much not welcoming them in open arms. He says, you guys, they'll be bringing that drama to America. We don't want, you know, pretty much Trump did not accept them in and say, hey, welcome, come to her, welcome to the country. He pretty much saying like, ha, good luck to him pretty much for marrying that woman. Because Trump, being a ladies man himself, he already saw her a mile away that she was trouble. So, you know, he wasn't welcome with open arms and now they're here. And I remember the first event they went to, it was like the CEO of Disney was there. I had Jay-Z, Beyonce, you know, all these celebrities were there. They're like, welcome into these, these two people into this country now. And ever since then, they've been invited on podcasts, they've been invited on TV shows, news stations, interviews, the whole nine. So now they're trying to come out and say, oh, they're oppressed and, you know, feel sorry for us and all this good stuff like that. But that's not the case. And if you look at it, um, their son, his name is Archie. He's the one they're talking about, um, you know, oh, he's, they're calling him the gorilla baby. I look at her, you know, in the first place and she's biracial herself. You know, if you look at her, she's very, very light skinned. You don't think she's black. She thinks, you know, she could be, you know, a different race, different cultures, but she plays that black card to the advantage. She plays to the virtual signaling, virtual signaling, the victim of mentality. She plays that very well. And that's what she's doing right now. And I see it and a lot of the country sees it and they're going to be exposed. 
And you know, it's so crazy that we have to deal with this right now. And but it's true. And, and like she knew what she was getting herself into. Like I said before, this is no surprise when it comes to the royal family how they act. You know, uh, they didn't have to run. You know, escape the way they did. They could have been a part of the family. You know, got the clout, got the fame, got the power that goes with it. But they're the ones who decide to break off, and they knew what that entailed coming to the United States. And they're doing it because they're more focused on celebrity than focused on their own country and their people and their society. So here they are. They're in America, and they are getting the media that comes with being an American citizen. And I don't feel, like I said, I don't feel sorry for them all. Uh, I think, you know, my patriots in the UK that be watching me, supporting me, you know, I never know the big deal about the whole prince and king and all that stuff. This is America. We get a president. We don't need all that royalty nonsense. But, you know, that's what they participate in. And that's what they're dealing with right now. So my message right now to anybody out there listening, watching what's going on with the situation is, you know, don't believe the hype, man. Don't buy into the hype. This is all just, you know, you know and, and to me in this relationship, who's the alpha out of Meghan and Prince Harry? And if you look at Prince Harry's history, to be honest with you, um, the man was in the military in the UK for 10 years. He was a captain when he left. He was a veteran. And to me, that's the happiest to me. I feel like he's been in his life at that moment, that period of time in his life when he was in the military. And now marrying this woman, being a part of this system, you know, having a son with this woman, he seems miserable. He seems like he's living a miserable life, but it is what it is, man. You knew you're marrying a woman who's an actress who already was from, uh, already divorced from a previous relationship, already had her own life, her own family before she met you. Now she's with you, she's older than you. She's obviously the alpha in the relationship and you're the beta. And this is what we get. We get you on Oprah, crying, virtual signaling, signaling, begging for assistance, begging for help, begging for sorrow. And this is America. You're not going to get it here, buddy. Sorry, hate to tell you. So it is what it is. My message to Prince Harry and Meghan is I can care less about what you guys do. You're not going to change anything in this country. You're not going to change the MAGA movement from moving forward. You guys are just some more brainwashed establishment types, in my opinion. And that's all there is to it. You know, that's all I got to say about this. But like always, thank you for everybody listening. God bless everybody out there listening. And God bless the United States of America. Peace out.